Well, hello, hello, General Hospital Daily Recap fans. Whew. The last one minute. The last one minute of the show. I'm telling you, I was in, I was in tears. I was in tears so much that I wanted to jump through the screen and hug hug Spencer myself. Okay. Oh my God. Let me let me summarize. Now we all know this is my travel week, um, so I won't be able to do comment corners until I come back, and I don't come back until May sixteenth. I am going to keep up with the recaps as much of a connection I can get, um, because <clears throat> you know I have to watch them. And then I'm going to have to record from my cell phone. So I don't even think I'm going to have my background, but we'll see. It'll be live and from location in Dubai, special segments. I won't be wearing all black. You'll see me in whatever I'm wearing that day. Um, but I I am definitely going to try to keep up with the day, <coughs> excuse me, with the daily recaps. But, okay, they're in a WSB facility. Valentin, Trina, Laura, she was being deposed. Um, Curtis was being deposed. He's finished. Um, and Valentin, a WSB agent came in and said a body was recovered from the water, the wreckage. And Trina's like, no, no, it's not Spencer. No, no, it's not. It can't, it can't be Spencer. And I was like, look, it better not be Spencer. Okay, it better not be Spencer. So when they get in there and the guy unzips the body bag and pulls back the, you know, a flap over, it's Victor. And Trina almost fell to her knees in joy. Just, I knew it wasn't him. It wasn't him. I knew it couldn't be him. Oh, she was so happy, <laughs> right? And Valentina's is just looking, not looking in grief, but looking like, is that really him? Right? So Trina leaves. She goes back and gets Ace because she's caring for Ace, right? So Valentina's left in the room with Victor and he's talking to him and he is saying, you know, just letting him know, bottom line. This is the last time that I'm ever going to look at you, see you again, ever going to say goodbye. He says, by the way, the Cassidyne name, oh, it belongs to me now. And I'm going to change what it's meant in the past. The next generation is going to have something they can be proud of. I promise you that, right? So Valentin leaves. He wasn't, you know, it's his father. His father died, but come on now. He's only known Victor was his father for the last two years. And Victor's been horrible to him. Kidnapped his daughter and put her away. He couldn't even see her for you. I mean, we ain't recapping all that. Anyway, so Valentin left and he's like, Trina, we have to go. Curtis is finished being debriefed they're ready to transport we gotta go she goes I'm not leaving without Spencer I know he's still out there I know and he's like but we still have to go so Laura Trina Trina's leaning against Laura crying as they're walking you know to the plane and I think Curtis has the baby or Valentine has one of the two. Curtis or Valentine is holding Ace, but they're all going to the plane and they heard a sound and they turned around and you saw this hand coming up on this rock. I can't even do it because the camera's opposite, right? So I guess I should go like this, a, a hand hitting a rock. And I said, oh my God, oh my God, Spencer, right? Spencer. And so they turn and she goes, and he comes from around the rock and she goes, Spencer. 
yes. And I was like, yes. right. And she, I'm telling you, this had to be the best acrobatics. She ran. They were running to each other, but she's running faster. That girl leaps up wraps both her legs around his waist and he's holding on to her and oh it was so touching and Laura's sitting there going you know her grandson oh my god and oh Trina just looks at his face and he looks at her face you know Spencer's gonna defy death for her his brother and his grandmother right so they start kissing and then, you know, the show goes off, but it was so, Spencer is saved. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. So now we have Willow having a long talk with Michael. Trying to get him to see how him turning Sonny in is going to rip his family apart. And he's not seeing it. He goes, they're going to be safer without him. What he doesn't understand is now none of them are going to have Sonny's protection. They all fair game. But Mike ain't thinking about that, right? And what Nina, I mean, what Willow said is, look, Christina is going to resent you. When Donna and Avery get old enough and know that you're the person that put their father in jail, they're going to know they can't trust you. And they're not going to turn to you. She says, do you see the divide that's going to happen? She's like, Michael, they need you. I'm not saying don't turn Sonny in <clears throat> so they can have a relationship with him. She said, I'm saying don't turn, let me get a little cough drop. Don't turn Sonny in so that they can still have a relationship with you. You are the glue to keep everything together, right? And he's just listening to her and he's like, you know, because it's hard for him to just get over this. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. But I think she's sinking. It's sinking in. He goes, because what? You're going to turn Sonny in anonymously? And then pretend like you don't know who turned him in? He goes, no, I'm going to tell my family it was me and I did it for them. She goes, exactly. <clears throat> and this is why I'm saying it's got, your whole family's going to be divided now. She said, look, the difference between me and Nina's situation is we've never had a relationship. Not a good one, that is. <clears throat> There's no one to be hurt by us not being close. You, on the other hand, you have had a relationship with Sonny. Your whole family has had a relationship with each other. That's the difference. Now I thought about that. And the only thing you all, and y'all know I'm not a Nina fan. <clears throat> well, Willow is mistaken. Is it's not no one is going to be hurt if Nina is not in their life. Not true. Every time Wiley sees her, every time, what does he say? Grandma Nina. Oh, he just loves her, him some Grandma Nina. Now, Amelia don't know <clears throat> Nina, but Wiley does. Wiley knows. So Willow's little scenario, it wasn't 100%. 100. She didn't keep it 100, but it's going to take her some time. So Sam is there to see Willow and Michael. Throw this at you. <clears throat> Willow and Michael. And Nina stops her. And she just wants to hear about the wedding. And Sam is like, Sonny didn't tell you about the wedding? She said, Yeah, he did, but he's a guy. He said, Willow looked good, looked great. Flowers were great. Everything was great. You know, she goes, I need to hear details. So Sam actually, because Sam don't have nothing really against Nina. She hasn't had any dealings with it. So she took her over and she gave a great vivid description of what Willow looked like. Well, she didn't say her dress was this, that she just said she was just radiant. 
And then she talked about how Wiley, how, how good he was as the ring bearer. And um, Donna and Avery were such great flower girls. They were beautiful. And they had a, a <clears throat> flower crown on their heads. And Nina was truly almost like she could get some popcorn. As Sam is giving her details and her eyes were tearing up. Now, Sonny had pictures and he was going to show, I mean, did he show her? <clears throat> he was going to show her. So anyway, um, Sam just said, look, she goes, Carly, because Nina started getting indignant when she goes, you know, Carly, Willow has a relationship with Carly. Carly has been a friend to Willow for a long, long time now. And Willow looks up to her as a mentor. And Nina goes, yeah, like the mother she never had. See, there she was. <clears throat> like the mother she never had. Well, she has a mother, see? And Sam said, see, wait, wait. But that's a relationship that has been cultivated. And Willow trusts her. Now, for you to have a relationship, it has to be cultivated, right? And so Nina's like, yeah, well, but there's nothing to, or no way I can get in or whatever. She said something negative. And then Sam said, Carly could help you with that. And Nina looked at her. She goes, maybe if you would stop making, blaming fault, Stop with the animosity. Tell Carly you're sorry. And I'm thinking, well, Nina has told her she was sorry, even though she didn't mean it. Carly knew she didn't mean it. But, you know, Carly could be a bridge for you and Willow. And I'm thinking, not now that you done turned her over. <laughs> See, wait till that comes out. Because Carly just might, who knows? have a good word in. And boy, won't that just slap everybody in the face when it comes out? And it's going to come out because Sonny met with Diane and he got Diane talking about the case. And Diane's like, you know, I can't divulge client attorney privilege. And he goes, look, you were Carly, you've been Carly's attorney and my attorney for how many years now? She goes, yeah, but you're divorced now. And since you're divorced, you don't, you can't be privy to her case. And so he goes, Diane, we got to work together to make sure Carly doesn't go to jail. And she goes, why do you care, Sonny? And he goes, you mean why I care? I'm going to always come to Carly's defense. She's family. And so Diane said, let me ask you something, Sonny. Let me ask you. If the tables were reversed, do you think Carly would be doing all this for you? And Sonny looked at Diane and said, absolutely. And he's 100% right. Absolutely, she would. So he's like, okay. And they talked it out a bit. And they go, so they really want Drew because Drew's the CEO of the, the company in question. Carly is a means to get the big fish. And Sonny's like, well, we know what we got to do. <laughs> and Diane is like, yeah, but would Carly agree to that? Right? And so Sonny's like, hmm. well, first let's do the groundwork. Let's see if it would even work before we get into that. Because he know Carly's stubborn. And Carly would not. And I would not draw a... Uh, uh, kick Drew under the bus. I would not because he told her not to get involved. She did it anyway. So no, no, Drew's not the sacrificial lamb. If anybody got to go down, it's Carly. So y'all better figure out a way because Sonny's like, look, I got contacts everywhere <laughs> and I'm getting ready to reach out. And Diane is like, but you don't, can't control a decision on the SEC. And he goes, let me see what I can do. 
I'm like, go, Godfather. Go ahead, Godfather, because you do have connections everywhere. Let's see what you can do. Definitely, let's see what you can do. And then they had Joss and Dex. <clears throat> Initially, Joss, Joss told Dex that Spencer was missing. You know, and, she, you know, she said, look, I know you don't have any love lost for Spencer, but I've known him, you know, pretty much all her life. And we both grew up with money. He goes, yeah, I may have been indulged, but Spencer was just, whew, he was on another level. And he was, you know. He's like, we don't think alike, but I, I, I've i known him all my life, right? So anyway, you know, she's still worried about him because look, we didn't find out Spencer's appearance wasn't until the end of the show. Now, that could have been Cliffhanger Friday. Oh my God. Well, no, they did a great Cliffhanger Friday with the bomb scaring us all to death all weekend. No, that was good. That was good. So anyway, um, that's that's pretty much it. For General Hospital, great, great episode. Um, it just had me right on. I mean, it had me happy. It had me crying. Oh, Lisa and Drew touched down in, in Port Charles. They're on their way. So they're getting ready to do the pre-prep work on Willow for her bone marrow transplant. So yes, we can finally put that chapter behind us with Willow. I'm tired of it. I'm done with it. Good. Let's let it go. Let's let that go. So anyway, that's it, y'all. Now, look, I can't do comment corner. For one, it's a whole lot of comments. For two, I'm not going to be able to do comment corner until I get back. Um, because from tomorrow on, I will be doing my daily recaps on my cell phone. You know, so I'm going to have to hold my cell phone. You know what? I got to remember to try to. See if I have a little cell phone tripod handy to take with me so my phone could be stable. But anyway, that is it. Everybody, please keep the conversations in comment corner going. Talk to each other. You know, let's see what's happening. Um, I'm at the airport. I got to get there early, but I'm traveling with the group. So, you know, I'll probably be talking <laughs> versus, look, I'm traveling with a group of friends and I'm going to sit in the corner and ignore them all so I can be on my cell phone. I can't do that, right? Can't do that. So anyway, everybody, I will come as often as I can with my comments um, and I will keep this going until I get back to, back to the regular setting, the regular pictures and everything else. So with that being said, I will try to see you tomorrow.